Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Julie with Bookshelf by Julie. We're still doing it. 100 days uh, of crafting challenge. We are on day 65, which means we have done a lot of stuff already. Today we're going to be working on our little golden book. Let me put this on the side over here. So we've got to get this ready to make it um, a journal cover. And I'm sorry if it's got glare, but it is a shiny shiny um, piece. So I'm going to use this fabric on the spine. I'm going to use matte board for the pieces that I need to replace this and to make an actual spine. <laughs> and this is going to cover, this is the background page from the hometown kit, uh, journal kit, and it's going to cover the back because really I don't want to see that. <laughs> It's a thing. It's an advertisement, okay? So what we're going to have to do now is take this apart and then reconstruct it. I'm using, I cut this out to be the same exact as I can, same length, okay? Now this is matte board. It's not as thick as chipboard, but it's really, really sturdy. Um, it's not going to be folding up on you or anything. It's about as thick as this is. Um, yeah. Just about as thick as that is. So, and it'll be make a really good sturdy spine. Not so easy to sew through, but we'll get there, okay? Um, and maybe I'll do a... Nah, I don't know. <laughs> maybe I'll do a hidden spine on this one. I don't know yet. This is just the beginning. We're not going to do the whole thing today. I'm just going to show you what I'm doing because we've got to start getting this ready to put the signatures in. As I said, there's going to be two signatures. Um, we've got, that's the one we just finished up with. We've got these two signatures. Now, how I did this was I used my ruler and I said, okay, it's an inch and a half this way on the spine, but how much is over here? And that was almost, it was two and a half inches. So I gave myself that other half inch because I'm still going to put stuff in here. Got lots of journal cards and things. And I do have a little bit of a surprise. I finally did get those puppy cards. Not today, but in a YouTube video soon. Um, I'll show you those. And, and they'll be a freebie. That's, you know, it's just, they're super cute. Anyways, um, we're going to do some fun things still. We're not done with it. I just thought, I've got to get this together so I can start figuring out what I'm going to do with it. If that makes sense. Okay. So I'm going to put these aside and I'm going to roll this over because I don't want to cut on my silicone mat. It's not good for that. Now, if you can see this, I'm using this side because it doesn't have a glare. There's a ridge right down through there that separates this piece from this piece. I hope you can see it. So what I'm going to do is use my ruler and my rotary cutter. And I'm going to take this apart this way. Now you do have to take your staples out when you're when you're sort of removing the book block, I guess. Um, you have to take those staples out to get your signatures out that you're going to work with. But other than that, just, you know, do this. Or oh, that's what I'm doing. You can leave that in there if you want to, but to me that's a liability. It's not going to be strong after you take the insides out. So I'm going to remove it right there. Um, yep, like so. And then you've got your front and your back pieces. And this little bit here is off. I mean, that's cute and all, but it's not any good anymore. Um, and I think the uh, the pieces in here, if one wanted to, really needed to salvage them, you probably could. But 
they're not very thick and they're not going to be strong and I just I'm not going to but you guys can if you want to I'm chunking those so I'm going to straighten this up because sorry it's got a little bit of glare there but I'm going to straighten this up I went a little skew ift on that I want it to be straight for when I start putting it together I need it to be straight not just a want I need it to be straight right okay more or less I mean it doesn't have to be perfect but I'd like it to be straightish. Okay, now it's straightish. Ish I can work with. <laughs> okay, so we've got these two pieces. Um, and I may leave the insides because that is cute. You know, it really, well, not this one. <laughs> not this inside, but that inside, you know, this is the front cover. I'm trying not to do too much glare at you. Um, this is the front cover. And I may leave this as. That's just really cute, I think. Um, just leave that as is. This one's gonna get some work. Um, this will be covered, which we're gonna do. And this one, I'll do something with it. I'm not sure yet. Like I said, we're gonna be doing some deconstructing and reconstructing, and that was our deconstructing, so. <laughs> All right, now we've got to figure out put that to the side we've got to figure out and that to the side I've got so many things in my way now okay so we've got to figure out our spine and our pieces we want our spine to be like so right and we do want these pieces in there because we'll need them and they'll be going on to here okay and if they need to be trimmed off we can do that but they're going to be going on to here to make this that little bit wider Little Golden Book pages are just a little bit too wide for these book boards after you take those off because they are made to be the length of this, right? So let me show you. They're fine that way, okay? They're fine. But if you take this off, and have it like this, that's gonna be hangovers, a lot of hangovers. <laughs> um, so we don't want too many hangovers. We want it to be, okay, like so. And we can add more to it if we need to, I mean, you know. But I think just replicating what was there is probably gonna be fine, okay? So this is gonna go into here. And this one is going to go on to here. And then we're going to leave our little bit of space in between. Like so. I'm, I'm not one of those people who have to have just exactly. The, I like more of a quarter of an inch to, um, to be between my uh, spine and my front and back. You can put it that eighth of an inch if you want to. But for me... I like a little bit more room in there and not so much uh, stress on the on the cover. Just me. So I like that kind of space. In which, if you look at a book, you know, pick up any book, you're going to have more of this space than this space, right? They give enough room for that book to fold up and back. They want to have... You know, they don't want it falling apart on you right away. <laughs> not not right away. So, first thing we're going to do is put these together. And then we'll come back and put our spine in. Okay. Let us do this. Alright. We're going to put it together with some... Yeah, some fabric tape. Now, we can make our own. Which would be thinner and probably better than the kind you buy in the store. So let's do that, shall we? I've got this nice chocolate colored, I mean it's not dark chocolate, it's more of a milk chocolate. <laughs> um, it's a brown, okay? But I thought it goes well with the puppy. I don't want to glare you, but it's he's got some brown in him right in here and in his, you know, around here. I think this goes better 
I looked through several kinds. I looked for greens and blues and stuff, but I just settled on the brown. So that's what I did. Uh, do not be intimidated by fabric. It's it's so easy and a very forgiving medium, okay? <laughs> it's, it really is. Okay, let me see. I need it to be, let me get this out, because I need it to be this length, right? Like so. Yep. So I'm going to push it over here, and then I'm going to make my little snip, right? Okay. If you didn't see me make my snip, it's just a little bitty snip. It's a little bitty snip right like that. Okay? And then I'm just going to take it and do that because this is more or less all I'm going to need. <laughs> Let me move that out of the way now. Okay. So, we need... We need some fabric that's going to be um, wider than this so that we can put it together, put it onto here, okay? And then we will put um, we'll put the other one on. I'll, I'm always trying to think ahead and think ahead and it slows me down in the now, but yeah. I want it to be sturdy enough to, you know, not worry about it. So I'm going to do another little snip, like so. And do that. Yep. Yeah, don't worry about using fabric. It's a good thing to use. It's strong. It's sturdy. Um, you saw me rip it there, but <laughs> it's not going to rip easily on when you put it into a, um, a project, okay? It is going to be very sturdy. Some people use Tyvek and things like that. It's just expensive to me. So, all right. Let me get this out of the way. And I need two of these, so I'm just going to go ahead and snip another one because we're going to have to make another one, right? Okay. Yep. Hopefully I'm in shot. I'm trying. I'm trying. Okay. So, we have two pieces of fabric that we're going to make into fabric tape. I promise, if you do this, it's going to come out nice. It's going to come out really good and sturdy and strong. And you'll have lots of strings to, you know, deal with. But, <laughs> but it's going to be really nice. So, find your fabric I chose brown, but that's just me. I, It's neutral, and it'll work for this project. Okay, let me move this one out of the way, because we're going to be working on this. Okay, now, I don't think this has a right and a wrong, really. I don't think it does. <laughs> okay, so we're going to use this one, because I think that one will work. I think, I think. Okay, now we want this right to the edge because this isn't just decorative. This is actually fabric tape that we're making. So right on over to the edge. Get my squeegee doohickey. And I need some more. So let's see, because I want to cover this completely, right? Let's see. What size do I want? More than that one. About that one. <laughs> yes, I do have many sizes. But now, if you're not using the double stick tape, I don't know why not, but <laughs> if you're not using it, um, then you can use just glue. Um, you can. I would suggest a strong glue. There's also um, Fabrifix and things like that that you can use, put on there, and you have to, you know, do heat with them, heat and bond and things like that, uh, that you can do. This is just simple and easy. <laughs> I like simple and easy. Um, so, 
right let me give it another press just because I want it to be on there really good now this this one that I use is from I don't know if you can see that or not it's from sign world and that's the kind they use when they put signs outside and it's got to last for a lot of years and it's going to take a lot of weather and all that that's what they use for that so I use it for my journal making it does not let go without ripping your project apart just saying just saying that's the way that goes uh, it will hold really really well this isn't just the um, the score tape that you see some people using this is really strong 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 stuff and I like it it's it gives me some security <laughs> okay <laughs> um, okay so let me move that out of the way I don't want anything sticking to it right okay so I'm gonna put this to where I've got room still over here so I want it somewhere in the middle ish right okay and then let me get this one off because this one I think is the side that's gonna go on the bookboard part okay now we've got that on there I may give this a little bit of glue because this is a slicky as you can tell with the glare it's very slicky so you want to give it some extra extra matte board isn't slicky it's well it's matte right <laughs> it's, it's more uh, paper feel than anything slicky but we want extra security on this we're just adding this in now the other the final spine is going to go over this somewhat part of it anyways but this is going to go on here and I want it to line up as best I can with this right so yeah I can't even really tell a difference in the feel of this uh, thickness and that thickness so now we've got that on there and this is not supposed to bend around it will but it's not supposed to it's just those pieces you know we're adding them in now this is going to get folded around give that some extra security okay all right there we go let me get my brayer we want both of these to have this situation going on and this is kind of what we're going to be you know we get both of these done today then we'll come back in and do our put our spine in and all that you got to take some of these things in baby steps guys it's okay <laughs> it's okay to do that if you get in a big hurry and think oh I've got to do all of this and all this then it gets too big of a thing to do have you ever heard of that old saying inch by inch it's a cinch yard by yard it's really hard <laughs> well inch by inch you can learn how to do this paper crafting stuff using fabric using paper using whatever you want to use to create beautiful things and inch by inch it really is a cinch yard by yard trying to do it all at one time that is not that's complicated that makes things difficult I need that thinner one this time where is it it's in here somewhere I know it is okay there it is this is the 1 8th you might think well you could just not but I'm going to I'm going to <laughs> it will be fine because um, I want as much coverage with sticky stuff on this as possible so that I'm getting a lot of adhesion right <laughs> okay now let me get this a good yeah if we get our pieces on here and we know that they're there and they're secure 
that gives us our other people who make little golden books they'll fold their pages in or chop them off now you can do that instead of doing this I like doing this <laughs> So this is the way I'm going to, but I'm just trying to give you options. If you don't want to do it this way, you can just um, fold your pages in or chop them off because they're going to be too long for the just the bookboard piece. This, the page is reached to the end of this with that little piece on there. So what my point is, if that little piece is off, they're going to reach this far past your book your journal so I'm replacing this by doing this I hope that makes sense okay again I want this somewhere in the middle ish somewhere in the middle ish straight ish right okay let me take this off and we'll be ready to put it on there Okay, not a problem, very sticky. Okay, now again, I'm going to use this glue because, yep, slicky stuff. There you go. Sometimes it just tries to hang on. That's okay. All right, so making our front and back piece to our journal the same the same as it was before more or less make sure I've got this okay sorry if I'm fanning it around at you but I kind of like to double check myself right okay now we've got it now you tell me that was easy right come on that's easy and that's just replacing those pieces and making our little golden book a little golden book <laughs> well it was one so why not let it be one oh sorry about that but now we've got our pieces where they're going to be did I put that on the, it doesn't matter I was gonna say did I put that on the wrong way it doesn't matter because the back's gonna be covered but they're gonna be even here which is nice and they'll be even here which is nice so Okay, now, I think I want to go ahead and cover this, because now I put it upside down, but it didn't matter, so, ha, huh. it didn't matter, because I'm going to do a cover for this one, like so, and I don't want to go too far over that, I just want it to be there, you know, and this will be the back, and we can decorate this up. And it will be awesome. That's going to be nice. Okay, let me get some tape on that. And we'll do this. I think we've got time. I don't want to run us too... I don't want to, you know, go into 30-something minutes or whatever. I'm trying to keep these fairly short. Next time, when we're working on our journal cover, we will put our spine in. I may do a hidden spine. The more I think about that, the more I think, oh, that might be a good idea. It's uh, it's not hard to do. I mean, you just have to um, sew everything into something else and then put it on. I mean, you know, it's that. You guys let me know if you'd like to see me do a hidden spine. That's what we'll do, okay? Um, I think that will be the best way to do it, really. Okay. Let me give this a good squash down. <clears throat> okay. Let me see here. Do I want to do it this? I want to do it this way. More or less. Okay. Well, I do want to do it this way, so come along. Okay. Now glue 
Yeah, I think a hidden spine will be great on this. Then, then we just put our spine in and we do uh, sew our signatures into something else <laughs> and then glue that in. You have to use some really serious uh, glue and double stick tape and you know you have to do it really sturdy to do that but it's so very doable let's see here yep right there I'm just putting this on here and I'll trim around it I think that'll be a good way to do it because this will be covered over again when we put our spine on you'll see when I do that because you know it's a thing it is a thing okay I get this off and this off yep. and some more glue because I definitely want to make sure all my edges are down really good now I may go around when I get this all you know the whole journal cover together I may go around and put that uh, burlap ribbon around the outside. <laughs> I think it's really pretty. I think it kind of accents everything, you know. I don't know. I think I will. Because, you know, I'm not using lace in this one. So, the burlap ribbon is what I'll be using. <laughs> I think it works really well for this one I think okay <clears throat> now we're just gonna flip it over and trim it out now you can use a a, a craft knife a rotary trimmer whatever you want to use it's um, just personal preference really to trim this out I think if I weren't on camera I would probably use the rotary because it's just zip 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 and you're done right <clears throat> and things don't get in your way as much when you're doing it that way this book board doesn't bend <laughs> so you have to do a little at a time and you have to worry about you don't want it to have that jaggedy look when you do a little at a time on the trimming. It's not so much. It's pretty good. Anyways, I'm going to put the stuff around it anyways. But a rotary trimmer just gets the job done really smoothly. If you don't have one of those, get the one for paper and it'll do fabric as well. And they're cheaper. Um... The uh, the ones for fabric, the rotary trimmers for fabric, whoa, are they expensive. But if you have, okay, now this is the, that's the front and that's the back cover. Next time we will put our spine in and leave us a good quarter of an inch between here because... Like I said, I like to have a little more room on a regular book you do. Anyways, <laughs> okay. So there's our additions to our book front and back. And we've got that done. We're getting there, guys. This little journal is going to be awesome. Well, it'll be awesome in my mind. <laughs> Okay, I don't need to ramble any. This is a, a longer-ish video, so we'll just get our get that out of the way. Get this done. Day 65. Where is my pencil? Okay. Day 65 done. We've added our additions to our front and back covers, and they are looking awesome. And we also covered the back cover with that. You, you can cover it with whatever you want. You don't have to use this. I'm using this because I used it in the journal pages. So you can use whatever you want. If you don't have the um, 
hometown journal kit, use something else. Use um, scrapbook paper. There's a lot of things you can use. So, yeah. This is going to be awesome. We're looking good. Okay. You guys take care. Please like and subscribe. Pretty please. <laughs> Thanks for watching. TTFN. Thank you.